deoxygenation, 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 something like that. Young scientists, filmmakers, educators, we are Ocean Scientists for Informed Policy. Join us as we travel to Lima, Peru for the United Nations Climate Change Conference and dive into pressing ocean issues and their connection with international policy. ocean's oxygen levels are decreasing. And as a marine scientist, that is something I care about. To help explain this important issue, I went to some friends to find out more. Lisa Levin is a professor at Scripps Institution of Oceanography, UC San Diego. Her research focuses on a wide variety of climate issues, including deoxygenation. But deoxygenation is the loss of oxygen in the ocean. <laughs> there was this huge additional stressor that no one was talking about. Just like on land, carbon emissions and increased CO2 in the atmosphere are warming the world's oceans. Warmer water holds less oxygen. It's an indirect effect of the warming that the water is experiencing along with other changes. And if that wasn't bad enough, warmer surface water means the ocean is more stratified, almost like layers of a cake. These layers in the ocean mean less mixing, which means less oxygen. Stressors act together to change the ecosystem. Certain groups like fish and crustaceans are really vulnerable to low oxygen conditions. Um, animals like to breathe just like we do. I believe that organisms have intrinsic value for existing. Economics is a big one. Fisheries are incredibly important for many people across the world as a primary source of income. They're also a primary source of food. Climate change is incredibly complex. The COP is incredibly complex. There are issues floating around everywhere. And while this is incredibly important to us, it's just one piece of the larger puzzle. Each year, there is more and more appreciation that the ocean regulates our planet's climate and that everybody needs to care about the ocean, whether they uh, come from a country with coastline or not. The outreach that we've been trying to do has made an impact, and that's really what we're here to do. We just need to keep at it. We want to be realistic, and sometimes that makes us a little pessimistic. So I think that as scientists, when we can find optimism by sharing our science and seeing the excitement that it brings up in people, uh, it's it makes it feel like what we're doing is worth it.